Greetings and welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2005 Volvo XC90. Um, it's a no start. There's multiple no communication codes and I thought this would be a good time just to walk you guys through uh, some quick, quick testing on uh, your DLC connector and also checking that uh, the can high, can low communication lines uh, just to verify they're operational and we don't have any shorted out modules. Today I'll be using this breakout box. However, um, you can just take it directly down there from the DLC where I have it plugged in. Um, the pin layout will be the same, just a little bit easier this way. And also I like this lights up. I can see my, um, pin 16 battery positive and then the signal and chassis ground is lit up so let's get started so as you can see you don't need a breakout box to do this testing um, it's the same idea just need to do a little research on what pins are what if you count at the top from the left one two three four five that'll be pin four and five and then six for the can high and then 14 will be the can low that'll be on the bottom um, second from the right or third from the right and the bottom right corner is going to be the uh, battery voltage so you can run all these tests directly from there Okay, so we're going to want battery voltage at both of these. That's our signal ground. Then we want to come back up to our chassis ground. There you go. So that just lets us know we got some good grounds. And yeah, that battery voltage is a little low, but that's just because we've been messing with this car a little bit and <clears throat> need to get that battery maintainer on there. So now we're gonna check the resistance between pins six and 14. And first, it's always good to check your meter leads. You can't see the leads, but that's good. You wanna make sure that any resistance in your leads is not uh, skewing the data that you're getting. Okay, so between pin six and 14, we should be seeing 60 ohms. So that's right about where it should be. There are two 120 ohm resistors in a CAN bus circuit, so if you're reading 120 ohms, that would indicate an open in the CAN bus circuit. Um, readings that are low would indicate a shorted CAN bus circuit. High readings would indicate an open in the circuit. So our measurements that we've taken today are right in spec. High readings would also indicate a uh, bad module and that's what I was worried about. So being as though we're right in spec, um, inspect, <laughs> in spec, uh, we are most likely not looking at an issue like that. And then one more thing you wanna check for is about 2.5 volts between pin six and five. six and four, fourteen and six, and fourteen and five. So 
So the can low is a little bit lower. As you can see, well, I'm not I'm not probing that anymore, but I like this breakout box because it has the lights and um, if you watch it for a minute here, you can watch the CAN bus and the communication lines go to sleep. That pin six will turn off here in a minute. So that's pretty cool. I like this little breakout box. Um, it's just a cheap one on Amazon. They make some other ones that are pretty nice, but this gets the job done and I'm happy with it. Well, thanks for coming along again. Hopefully uh, this video was helpful to some. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, don't forget, hit that bell, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.